Okay, y'all, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but a lot has been going on way before uh, coronavirus got to us. But I'm back, and I'm going to try to be a little bit more consistent than I've been. Uh, but basically, I wanted to show y'all what I have going on. I've started back uh, doing embroidery. That's an embroidery machine over there that I bought. I only used it twice. Um, that's the brother. And let me see if I can get over there and uncover it and show it to you. I only used him twice. That's him right there. I only used him twice. Um, I used to do embroidery back in the day. That's my old one down there on the floor. Uh, it's been retired. Um, but so I've started back uh, sewing and doing embroidery. That used to be my passion. And that's my sewing machine. I bought another sewing machine. Didn't actually need one because I have like three over there. I didn't really realize that I had so many sewing machines. There's two right there. And there's another one over in the corner over there. Um, so, um, and the reason why I'm not using this embroidery machine after I spent, uh, close to $700 on it and only used it twice. The first time was, um, Easter Sunday because I had to finish doing the, uh, embroidering the bunnies for my granddaughter for my kids so I used it that time and then I used it another time uh, to try and stitch something I don't even remember what it was but it was only twice and then I got creative and decided I wanted to get a great big professional one and I think the week that it was it was due to be delivered to me wouldn't you know I got coronavirus and was sick as a dog and couldn't even uh, have my husband and my son take it out of the box and bring it upstairs and set it up. So it took me a while to get that. It set for probably two months before I actually started to play around with it and use it. So that's kind of been what I've been doing lately, um, working on embroidery and things like that and um trying to get back to working on my site i've been making a mask as you can see i have mask here that i need to finish i haven't finished them yet i started them and i had like a lot of orders so these are some that were just going to be like extras so that i can like fill up the site and don't have to sew every time someone made a purchase it was it would already be you know done so that's that. I have some in the closet that are already finished. But I've been doing that and keeping busy. And then my, uh, like I said, I started an embroidery site. So I have that site. I have the other site that I had on Etsy, um, which was the first one that I ever had that I used to make like the centerpieces that you see on the wall. Uh, and the replicas of the designer purses uh, that I used to make and sell on that shop. But I don't make the bags anymore and I hardly ever make the centerpieces. I actually don't even have them listed because Disney doesn't play. Mom. And Disney doesn't want you using their, uh, their likeness. So I don't really do them and post them uh, on the Etsy anymore because it can get your site shut down and it can get you sued. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going to be selling eyelashes and uh, I'm waiting on them to come. I actually found a couple of uh, vendors. Um, these are the bags that are probably going to be for the eyelashes and I'm going to start a site maybe a lip gloss gloss site for my daughter and 
granddaughter to run so that they can start young saving money for college and you know whatever else they may want to do so that their future is kind of set up uh, when they're older so you know but this is like one of the little embroidery things I did on that big embroidery machine over there um, it's a diaper um, wipe holder and you can also put diapers in it I made that on there but um, just showing you the stuff that I have um, I did a haul and I haven't had a chance to come over here and unbox anything so I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I've been up to and what I'm getting into and I haven't forgot about YouTube <laughs> and I'm gonna start like I said being a little more consistent so I'm gonna probably sit in here for a while and I'm gonna start to unbox all of this stuff um, and get it put away it's been sitting here for over a week and I really don't I want to just have it sitting out. It's starting to give me, starting to make my OCD act up. So I have to get these things put away. But I just want to show you guys um, what I have going on. These are going to be like some little popsicle um, lip gloss. Uh tubes that the baby's gonna have the kids are gonna have on their site um and they have some wands too there's so much stuff that i have in all of these boxes i just have to get it there's like another box under here if you hear crying and screaming and yowling like a cat that's nariel go and get it <laughs> that's nariel she's tired so she's trying to uh give her brother the business and find every reason to cry today. I don't know why. Um, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be opened. So I'm going to go ahead and probably open those off camera. It's getting kind of late here. Um, let's see. Well, not late, late. But I have a bunch of stuff that I need to do today. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get them set. Uh, and give them something to do so that they can be a little quieter and I can get this started and get it over with and go downstairs and cook and probably come back up here and start to open up this stuff and put some of this stuff away and I may come back and record opening some of the stuff I don't know yet but just want to let you guys know I haven't forgot about you and I'll be back soon bye Okay, I'm back, y'all. I decided I'm going to go ahead and get this over with now while I'm up here and in here. Because I actually need to be over here doing some work um, and making uh, some lip gloss for the girls for their sight. Um, oh, here it is. So I guess I'm going to just open some of the stuff that I got and show y'all what I got I gotta open it up I don't know <laughs> where it came from I can't tell and I gotta be careful because lately I've been actually cutting open stuff okay these are the syringes that I got I got these from um, Amazon and it's like, let me cut one open so you can see. It's the 60 milliliter ones. They have the little caps on them. And you use these to fill up the lip gloss containers, the little lip gloss tubes. You fill these up with the Versa gel and whatever coloring you have or whatever. And this is how you fill up the little tubes. Let's see. And this is like one little two. I think these are so cute. So this is gonna be one of theirs, but I got these from Amazon. I think there's ten in here, and I believe I paid twelve dollars 
thing twelve dollars for ten in a pack. So that's the syringes. Here's some of the tubes, um, the lip gloss tubes here, too. I got these from, I do not remember, isn't that sad? Um, I don't even remember right now. But they gave me a little syringe, but it doesn't look like. Yeah, the tip is kind of big. So I guess it would be big enough for glitter and stuff like that. Chunky glitter and things like that that you put inside of the tubes to get in. And these are the tubes um, that I got. These are the 15 milliliter ones, but I'm going to go back and get some 10 milliliter ones because I actually didn't know that most people don't get these big ones, but I buy these big ones. <laughs> So, I buy the big ones because I like the big ones. They last longer. But I also have some small ones. But I'm going to go back and get some 10 milliliter ones. And these came with the silver caps on them. And if I just really have to strain my brain to remember, I think I got these off of uh, Etsy. I think I got it from a shop on Etsy, but I'll put a link in the bottom if you guys want to know, ask me, and I'll put a link in the description telling you where I got them, but I think I got them from Etsy, and this is 50 lip gloss tubes, 15 milliliter, and I think I paid around mm, I think $22 or something for these. Not bad. So that's that. I also bought some Avery labels so that I can make my own labels. These are, um, you get 300 labels on 10 sheets. And these are the 1 by 2 and 5 8 And it's the clear sticker 1 by Avery. And it's going to be sixty-five twenty-one. if you're interested. A lot of people I see that make the lip gloss, they use these uh, labels. And they say they actually are pretty good. And they say oh, these are for a laser or an inkjet printer. So you can use it for either one. So I got these from Amazon. And these were, I remember how much this was. This was $13, like $13.99. And again, you get 300 labels on 10 sheets. Um, you have 30 labels per sheet. And it's going to be 6521. And they're clear. Oh, let's see. I picked up some of these cards um, because I thought they were really cute. Um, and they're thank you cards. I have some of like the big postcard thank you cards that I made on Vistaprint, but they haven't come yet. I'm trying to find the other pair of scissors. Okay. So I got these because I said that these are also cute and um, I could use them for the baby's site also. And this comes, it's what? It's 100 thank you cards. They're 5 by 2 inches. And there's 100 in here. And I think I paid $8.99 for them on Amazon. And basically it says, thank you for your order. Have a nice day. And then on the back it says, if you have any issues with this purchase, please contact us ASAP and give us the chance to make it right. I think that's so cute. And it's uh, the gold foil. It's really pretty. And you can take these and like put uh, one of these uh, in your orders when you're packaging them. You put these uh, in your order in their bag. And let's see. 
let's see what else I got. My son opened this one because he thought it was for him. Um, I bought these are some of the flavors for the lip gloss. And let's open them and see. I bought these from Get Suckered. You can smell them already. They actually smell pretty good. I hope one of them hasn't leaked and that's why I can smell them. So this one is jalapeno. And they have a little dropper, a little squeeze dropper in each one. This one is kiwi fruit. This one is cherry cola. These are actually the flavorings. You can use these in food like baking and cooking and making candy and things like that. And you also can use them for the lip glosses to make the flavor lip gloss and they actually taste pretty good is what I hear. I don't know, I've never had these before. But I got uh, these. It came in a pack of 20, I think it was 12. And it was $24.99, I believe. And these were like two extra ones. Let's see. The paper, the packaging slip. cover up my address on both sides so um that one the one that has all of these that came together right here in that package it's called the O N pack and there's 10 10 milliliter bottles and it was $24.99 for the 10 milliliter bottles and then I got these two uh larger ones these are one is peach and one is mango margarita flavoring and i have another one that should be pineapple let's see this smells really good mm, smells good this one is pineapple juice i don't know how good you guys can see it but it smells really, really good. And they give you a little card. It says packed by Brandy. And they give you a sticker. It says Summer 20. That's cute. My granddaughter loves stickers, so she'll love this. She'll stick this somewhere in here on my wall. Um. Oh, and it's raised on the other side that's cute I think I saw this one this one is peanut butter and jelly this one is menthol eucalyptus mm, I don't know about that for a lip gloss but I guess if they sell it somebody likes it Go figure. This one is peach. This one mm, smells really, really good. Smells really good too. And let's see what these are. I think I'm missing one of the big ones though. Let's see. I should have a pineapple juice, a peach one, and a mango margarita. So I'm, I haven't seen the mango margarita yet. But I think it's supposed to be a big one. So I think they may have missed that one. This one is chai tea. This one is pina colada. I love pina colada. This one smells awesome. This one is sour green apple. 
And for the most part, all of them are clear, except for the one that's jalapeno. It's kind of like an amber color. And the other one that's the peanut butter and jelly. It's kind of like a amber color also. But for the most part, all the rest of them are like clear or with a yellowish tint to them. This one is cotton candy. These are all 10 milliliter bottles also. Um, and this one is apple pie. Mm, that one smells, wow, smells just like, you remember those scratch and sniff little stickers that you used to get? And they would be like, your teacher would give them to you when you did something good and she would put them like on your folder or on your, um, on a, your paper when you did like something in class and she would give you those stickers. This is what it smells like, the scratch and sniff sticker. The sour apple, the apple pie one. It smells just like that. And I really need to get better with, okay, here it is. I was about to say opening things when they come because by the time I open something, it'll be too late to call them and be like, oh, you didn't give it to me because they'll be like, yeah, right. It took you two weeks to realize you didn't get that. So this one is going to be the mango, what is it? Mango margarita. Mm, this one smells awesome too. Looks like the top is kind of, yeah. And that top was kind of twisted a little bit. Mm, really, really good. Smells good. Okay, that's all for this box. And again, these came from Get Suckered. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, this is the jojoba oil. I got this from Amazon. It was, uh, this is the four fluid ounce one. Uh, cold pressed, premium grade, 100% pure and natural. It's made by Aria Star. And I got this from Amazon and it was $13.97, I believe. Hold on one second. I'm sitting right here by the computer, so I can tell you. But I got this, uh, this is one of the oils that actually is going to go in, um, like, I want to start making body butters. And that's one of the oils you can put in the, in the body butters. And it comes with a little squeeze, uh, dropper comes with a dropper I'm gonna put it back in the plastic okay I'm gonna put it back in there See, I'm trying to look and tell you how much the jojoba oil cost. I buy so much stuff on Amazon to the point where it's probably 10 pages back. <clears throat> And excuse my hoarseness, my allergies are kicking my butt. And just because I'm looking for it, I can't find it, you guys. Everyone but that one. 
Okay. Let's see. So that one was, this one was $10.95, the jojoba oil. $10.95 on Amazon. And then I have this one I got from Amazon. It's the uh, organic sweet almond oil. I got this from Amazon also. And this one is 16 ounces. And it comes with like the little, you know, nozzle on it where you get the pump. So that you can pump it. And this one was $14.99. And this also you use it for like to uh, Put it in your body butters and things like that. It's real good. It makes them real smooth and creamy. And I have this. Let's see which one this is. Okay. And well, this one has like the little flip top. Okay. And also comes with a little pump nozzle too. Um, and this is the fractionated cocoa oil. It's 16 ounces. I got this from Amazon and it was $14.98. You can also use this in your lip glosses too. And then I have, um, let's see, this is uh, the shea butter. Let's smell it. It looks like you need to shake it up first. Just because I want to smell it. Okay, maybe I won't smell it then. Okay, there it is. Ooh, it really doesn't have a smell at all. Um, this is the shea, but it's the African shea butter, and it's 16 ounces. It says it's all natural. 100% pure natural skin, body, and hair moisturizer. And you all could also can use it for DIY butters. Um, doing your own butters. Lotion, cream. Put it in your lip balm. Use it for soap. Um, it's good for eczema and psoriasis. psoriasis um, and stretch marks also. So I got one of these. But I got it again, like I said, to put it in the lip glosses. And to use it for making the uh, whipped shea butter and this one was $13.95 and it's 16 ounces and then I'm not going to open this one I got this one this is chili and grapeseed oil it also says it's 100% Pure and natural. You going? And hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back, guys. And like I said, this one um, is Chilean grapeseed oil. And I got this one from um, Amazon also. And it says it's pure grapeseed oil, um, pure and natural massage and carrier oil. And it's 16 ounces. And you can use it to moisturize your hair, scalp, and skin. And you can also put it in lip glosses and body butters. So, we got this one. It has a little pump thing on it also. And this one was $14.98 on Amazon. And let's see this one. My son opened this. He thought it was his. 
Um, this is the rose petals that I got. Dried botanical rose petals. Um, I got this from Amazon. And let's see how much it cost. It is a 2.5 ounce bag and it was $9.95. Now, I don't know why a lot of people seem to think that roses smell good <laughs> when they're dried. They don't. I actually am one of those people that think they stink. I don't like the smell of them at all. Um, but you use these for like teas you can make teas with them infuse your tea with it you can use it to make lip oils um which is actually what i'm going to make and probably put it on um my site and actually make one for myself too because i tend to get dry lips at night time and then um they'll crack and i'll bite the skin on them and all of that and then it's just a mess so um you can make the rose lip oil and actually put that on your lips at night before you go to bed and put it on your lips also um in the morning after you brush your teeth and things like that and you like use the um sugar scrub to scrub your lips get the dress exfoliate your lips get the dry skin and things like that off your lips in the morning then you can also put some of the rose oil on your lips to moisturize your lips and keep them moisturized um they say that's really really good so i'm gonna make some rose uh, oil lip gloss okay so that's what this is for once again it came from amazon and it comes in a 2.5 ounce bag and it was 9.95 it took a while to get here so i don't know exactly where it came from but it took probably two weeks to get to me Uh, let's see what else I have. Okay, I have this also. This came FedEx. And these are like the little containers for um, the lip scrub that the girls and I are going to make and put on their site. I think they're so cute. The little pink tops because that's going to be their color. My site also... Um, My signature color is also pink, but a darker pink. So this is going to be for um, like the different flavored lip scrubs for the girls. And let's see, I don't think these came from Amazon. I think I got these from Etsy. Let me see. Okay, I think I got it from Etsy. It says um, Beautycon is where it came from. That's the name of the company that I purchased it from. I'm trying to make sure that I didn't actually get it from Etsy or Amazon. And actually I did. I got it from Amazon and it came from the company that makes it is Beautycon. It was 48, it's 48 pieces. They're 30 milliliters, which is one ounce. Um, they're round, clear, with the pink lid. And um, you can put like lip gloss, lip balm, um, hand butter, beard wax, lip scrubs. You can put lotion in it, you know, hair gel, anything, and just toss it in your purse. Um, and these I got 48 of them and they were $26.49 on Amazon. I think they're so cute and they're one ounce 30 milliliters. These are 
the um, lip gloss tubes and they actually just kind of tossed it in the bag they didn't even bother like putting them in a plastic like a ziplock or something like that they just tossed them in here uh, I hate when companies do that and these are they actually glass um little lip gloss wand um that's the stopper that goes in it and these are rose gold I think this is so pretty and it goes in there I'm trying not to push that all the way in goes in and it screws on and I know that I didn't get these from um Amazon I got these from eBay the stopper went in there and got stuck look what I did it'll come out it'll push in my guess when I put the lip gloss so let's see if I twist it oh why did I do that <laughs> okay there you go and the stop is in there I can just pull it out I guess or I'll just have to fill it with the stopper in it I don't know why or why I'll figure it out but these I got these from um eBay. You gone? Okay, bye bye. I got these from eBay and I think it's what? It's 14 pieces and they were I believe sixteen dollars. Fourteen pieces. I need to wash all of these anyway so the fact that they put it in the bag is giving me like <laughs> really bad OCD <laughs> because they just tossed it in that bag like that mm, that's kind of like bad business because they could have at least put it in a Ziploc bag or something so <laughs> it's a good thing that I have to wash them but I would have washed them anyway okay guys hold on my husband's calling me everybody's deciding they want to come in and talk to me sorry about that y'all come in and talk to me or call me on the phone or text me when I finally decide to stop being busy doing everything else and make a video <laughs> oh boy but you guys know how it goes okay and I got these um from on Amazon also these are the um let's see they're like iridescent looking um it's 25 of them and I believe that they were like $18 I let me see These were twenty dollars and twenty three cents, and they're like the um, little bubble mailers. They're five by nine. It says it's five by nine on the inside, and that it's six by ten on the outside. And they're the holographic, um, metallic looking ones. So these are them. Pretty. Mm, it's really pretty but it's not that big but mostly we would probably use it for something like you can see how big it is on the inside and like I said it says it's 5 by 9 on the inside and 6 by 10 they're on the outside so I guess from end to end before you fold the flap and it has like the little peel and stick down on there um these are cute these are probably going to be used for the kids um for their Etsy store but they're cute and it was only 25 in there and they were twenty dollars and 23 cents um let's see what else we have Okay. 
I don't need the scissors. Oh, looky, looky. The TKB. This is the lip gloss base. Um, to make the lip glosses. This is what you mix all the oils and things with. And I got these from Amazon. I went to TKB and TKB um, was like 20 cents I think. Higher than them. But the only reason that I got these from Amazon is because they were cheaper because it was two of them together. Were cheaper than two of them on the TKB site. And they're... Um, it's the lip gloss base, but they're, let's see how big they are. They're five by five ounces, and I got two for $15.90. So I went ahead and just got two more because they aren't that big, but I was looking at another YouTuber, and she actually um, was given, like, the names of different places that you can check and you can get this from in a larger quantity um i don't remember remember the name of the place right off the top of my head but um if i can remember i'll put it in the description down below and they had pretty good deals actually so like i said two of them were 15.90 so i got four And this is cute. Um, the Princess Collection. I don't know what's in it. The Princess Collection by Amira LLC. And it has a little picture on it. <laughs> Adorable. That is so cute. <laughs> so let's see. Because like I said, all of these packages have been over here. For about two weeks, I haven't had a chance to get to them, so I really don't know everything that's in them. Okay, these are going to be more lip gloss wines. Okay. Um, and these came from Etsy. Got this off of Etsy. At least she put hers in a big Ziploc bag, which is what the other people should have done with the ones that I got from eBay. But eBay has really started to go to heck in a hand basket. And look, they have their cute. I have some of these coming also that I made online. I made mine on, um, what's the name of it? Vistaprint. Um, and this is a thank you card. And it says, The Princess Collection by Amira LLC. Thank you for shopping. Enjoy 10% off your next purchase using the code. So, it's my code, you guys, if you didn't already see it. But anyway, um, and it gives her website at the bottom, which is www.theprincesscollectionsbyamira.com. I think that is so cute. And it has a little picture faded in the background. You see it? That is so cute. And on the back of it, the same thing, basically. But that is cute. And I got some wands from her. And these little stoppers for them. I think there were 25 wands. And I think I paid her, I want to say $16. And I believe this is the 10 milliliter and these are gold really pretty I'm still waiting on some other um, I'm gonna get the roller ball um, lip gloss tubes also they're still coming from um another vendor and it's taking a while to get here so i'm still waiting on those to come and i'll show you guys those when they come 
and I have no idea what this is but it says it's 100 of them so let's see you guys see that burn on my hand burn myself on the heat press twice in the same place making a t-shirt twice in the same place but I'm gonna make up some of those butters and I have some cocoa butter also that's gonna be coming and I'm gonna make um make some of that up and go ahead and start using that because cocoa butter is good for removing scars okay and these are the pipettes that I got I got them from Amazon and it's 100 of them and I think they were $9.99 Let's see, let's see. Just because I want to share with you guys. Okay, um, yeah, I got these. These are three milliliter transfer pipettes. And it's 100 of them. They're disposable, of course. And um, they were $5.99. 400 I got these off of Amazon. And... You use these to, um, like to use, you know, get like the oils and things like that out of the bottles. But most of, all of those bottles came with the pump tops on it. But you also use this because what you do is that when you're making your lip gloss, let's see, when you're doing your lip gloss, you'll take this and you'll cut half of this off and you're going to like push this down on it and it'll make this longer so that you know because this isn't long enough to fit all the way in the bottom of one of the lip gloss tubes so you'll cut the top the top the top off of here push this down in it and tape it to it and then you just go ahead and you'll fill it and this can reach all the way to the bottom of the lip gloss container to make sure that we you don't have any voids in it and like air bubbles and things, air pockets and things like that. So that's what these were for. Never-ending supply of boxes to open. So, oh, let's do this one first. And I bought this for the kids' site also. This um, is gonna go like on the back of their poly mailers on the outside of that flap. And it's like the little stickers. I also got this from Amazon, and it's a row of. 500 pink lips um they're rose colored it says and they were 7.99 let's see i was gonna pull one off i hate when they put these little stickers on them and then it peels it right off but basically <laughs> this one just peeled off it stuck to the sticker but anyway oh look how cute so it actually leaves behind that that's cute and you can stick it on something look how cute is that and we'll stick it on the outside of their little package just a little something extra and cute um for the kids Oh, 
Okay, let's see what's in this box. I'm showing you guys my address. Okay. More oil. Okay. Um and this is the apricot oil. Apricot kennel oil. I got this from Amazon and it comes the same thing. It has like a little flip top on it. And then it also has like the little pump. And this one is eight fluid ounces. It says it's moisturizing oil for hair, skin, and massaging. And DIY rich in vitamin E. And I got this from Amazon also. This one, I think, let's see, was about $9. I think yep $9.95 apricot kennel oil and this is also for um, the lip glosses and you can put it in the body butters too or in lotion this is really good for your skin too this smells pretty awesome so I've got that one try to keep them all together so I'm gonna have to look for them when it comes time to use them because I put them up because I can't stand cluttering out put them in a closet on a shelf and then forget where I put them at. I don't know what's in there. So what is this? Oop. Oh, okay. This is more containers. Um, little lip gloss containers for the kids site and these came from Amazon also they are 100 pieces and they're different colors it's a screw on top I don't know how well you can see it there you go and let's see they are five milliliters or five grams so it holds a good little bit of like um lip gloss or lip balm or lip scrub and this is cute it's um like diamond shaped you can put eyeshadow in it um any kind of like small supply of like a makeup that you may want to put in there a little gel in it um really cute and they came in pink and let's see this orange yellow the tops are so clear it almost looked like it didn't have a top on it this one is yellow And I think there's blue in there, blue and purple. Oh, let's see. Purple. Really, really cute. Okay, there's clear ones also. Clear. The blue doesn't want to come out, <laughs> apparently. It doesn't want to be found. Uh, let's see. All of this just for a blue one.
<laughs> okay, here we go. So there we go. And this is the blue. And like I said, these, I got a hundred of them. They're five milliliters and they were $25.99. And I got them from Amazon. And they're gonna probably put, like I said, the little lip scrubs in it or maybe use them for like little lip gloss samples and they could like give them out you know to promote their self they can give a few away unlike when someone orders something they could probably give them one for free like a sample of one of their lip glosses or like a lip scrub sample who knows? But I thought they were really cute. Let me see. That, my daughter said she liked them. That they were pretty. They looked like Jews. So, that's that. Okay, two more boxes, guys. Miss some of the okay. Let's see what this guy is. Okay. This is, um, I got these from Amazon. These are like little mini Q-tips, but they're not Q-tips. They're called something. I forget what they're called. But you can use them for things like cleaning up fingernail polish along the edges of your fingers if you make a mistake or something like that or they said you can use them to clean your ears but <laughs> I don't think you want to put this little pointy thing in your ear look at that look at that tip oh if it's soft it's soft like a q-tip they say you can use it as a q-tip to clean your ear um let's see how much I paid for them I don't see them, but I know I got them uh, around the same time I bought everything else, but apparently it's not grouped with everything else. And it wants to make me look bad. Because I cannot find it. Okay. 
Here they are. It's 500 of them and they're called disposable micro applicator brushes. And they're for makeup and personal care. Um, and they say you can use them like for putting on like the individual eyelashes and things like that. And they are the dime. The diameter, it, diameter is 2.0 millimeters and it's 500 and there and I paid $8.99 for them. Put it back in a little pack. So that's that. And then I got some of um, let's see these are the little ones that you use to like put your lips your lip gloss on or lipstick on so I bought them because I said that the kids could probably give them away in their uh they could probably give them away with their lip gloss with the little round ones that I showed you like these are the other little ones that I showed you look like little jewels and um, they can give it away to people just as a free lip brush I'm trying to open it to see if I can pull one out and they're the same as the little lip gloss wines that are in the lip gloss wine tubes that's it I thought they were cute and they match their uh, colors which is pink so we got those and this was a pack of I want to say a hundred I think this was a hundred. Yeah, it was a hundred and it's a hundred in here. And um their little lip brushes and lipstick applicators or lip gloss lip gloss wines. And they were five ninety nine for a hundred of these. And then I also bought the eye mascara wines, but I actually bought them for a different reason because I thought maybe when um, I make the lip scrub you could actually use this because people are saying like you can brush your lips with the lip scrub when you brush your teeth in the morning you can brush your lips with your toothbrush I don't want to brush my lips with my toothbrush after I brush my teeth so I bought these and I said that we could give one out to everyone that buys a lip scrub and they could use this because you know it's not too hard and it's not too soft and they could use this to like you know get a little bit of the lip scrub out you know with their finger I bought the little spatulas also and I'm gonna give them a spatula so that they're not sticking their fingers in um, the little jaws and like the little lip scrub gel they can like take this and take the spatula and scoop some out with the spatula and put it on their lip and then they can use this to scrub the lip and get the dead skin cells off of their lip dry skin so we're going to give these away for free which each lip uh lip scrub that someone buys I thought that was a good idea and I got these these were a hundred no these were actually 300 um crystal eyelash mascara brushes um and they were $12.99 for 300 and I got it from Amazon
Oh, and these are some more um, lip gloss containers for the kids' sight. And I got this from, of course, from Amazon. It's obvious. It's in their box. And let's see. How much did I pay? Just passed it up. These are um, called lip gloss candy tubes, and they came in a pack of twenty four. And same thing, you can use them like for lip balms or anything like that. But this is how it looks. It has a little wand in it. It looks like a little one of the little twist candies. It twists back on. And this is how it looks. So cute. Okay. Looks like little candies, and they, like I said, they were... Oh, my battery is trying to die on me, guys. This is going to be the last thing. I got these from Walmart. They're 12 to a pack. They're the clear 12-ounce glass bottles, and they come with the little eyedroppers. And I'm going to use these to make the, um, the rose oil. also and it comes with the little droppers the bottles are two ounces each and like I said it comes with a little dry dropper and it was 12 for $13.99 on Amazon okay guys that's about it for this haul um, I have some more things coming in a week during the week I have some stuff that's actually supposed to be here today. Um, my mailman passed late sometime. It's 4.13. So he probably hasn't passed yet if I haven't gotten it. I think he was delivering it. If not, it was um, UPS. So I haven't got it yet. But basically, that's it for this haul. And I'll probably do another one when the rest of the stuff arrives and when I get my lashes. And, um, I'm thinking about selling hair also, the human hair. Um, so I have a sample of that that's also coming. Uh, the vendor told me that she actually shipped it out this morning. And I have another vendor that I'm getting some lashes for, from. So when those come, I'll show you guys those also. Okay, bye-bye.